You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The After Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's WWE Monday Night Raw After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's WWE Monday Night Raw After Show. Fun times in Cleveland today. Cleveland! <laughs> Come on down to Cleveland Town, everyone. Come and look at both, both of our buildings. buildings. Welcome to the Monday Night Raw After Show. <laughs> the song gets really mean. You can turn it off Scott. now. Turn it off. Before. <laughs> we love Cleveland. We don't want them to hear all the nasty things that Cleveland's 7 million nice. YouTube viewers have seen. Natural born Ohioan right here. You are. Yep. For get real? out of here. Grew up in Toledo. Okay, we'll get to you, Eric. Okay, I was going to say you <laughs> asked and I answered. Calm welcome down. To the, welcome to the show, guys. Calm up. <laughs> post Monday Night Raw, post stretcher match. Before we get into it, buy this book. All right, the owner of After Buzz, our boss, Marie Menounos. Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. It's a New York Times bestseller, right, Kev? It is. It is her second Sorry. New York Times bestseller, so congratulations to her. But it is worth the buy yeah. because you can get apps like this. That's right. Ridiculous. And you, it comes with a belly ring, if you're interested. <laughs> uh, no, little, it doesn't. It's a little pocket. No? No. All right. I'm trying to no. sell books here, Kathy. Let me do what I do. <laughs> That's for the special right. edition. But you should buy it because there are a lot yeah. of tips. Um, it's helped me lose weight. It's helped so many people. Yep. Marie gets constant tweets from um, just people who've read the book, and it really does um, help you get Beautiful. your diet started. Buy that book. All right, speaking of which, let's get started right now. All right, follow us on Twitter, at Jay Quasto. To my left, at Katherine Kelly. Yes. She's, uh, what's up? Your voice is a little still trucking along. It's, it's like sexy, right? It it's sexy. No. <laughs> and next to me is 1940s Kathy Kelly. <laughs> it's like the, sultry. The 80 year old smoker lady, Kathy Kelly. Yeah, it's, it's very sultry this, uh, this week. Yeah. You Maybe know? I should start like a phone hotline or something. Well, uh, 900 <laughs> numbers are not exactly in, but I mean, if anyone could start one, I think you and I could. I'll be like the boss, you know what I mean? I'll like handle the calls and you get on the phone. My phone pimp? I'll be your phone pimp. We hmm. could do that. Anyways. Chat roll? <laughs> Ideas? <laughs> Across from me, ladies and gentlemen, the beauty and the barns. First up. <laughs> Uh, yes. He's the beauty, right? I don't know. I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys work it out. Uh, she is an LA Kings in arena host who just happened to be the 2014 Stanley Cup champions. If you go to a Kings game, you will see her running around like a banshee, talking to fans, talking to players, uh, shaving beards, what have you. No, no. Uh, Watch out. I made, I made that last one up. She is, find her on Twitter at Carlin Bathe. It's Carlin Bath. Hi guys. First timer, how you doing? I'm doing so well right now. Can I'm we can we talk about though how we were missing Dale this yeah. week? Hi Dale. But Hi Dale. Somehow you came and showed up in a vest. She's you were vest the for new business vest also. for business. I got the vest memo. Yeah. I actually didn't. This was completely unplanned <laughs> and they pointed it it's out. Fate. I've been wearing the vest all day. Well, the good thing is everyone loves Dale and so now everyone loves you because you're wearing God. a vest. Thank God. I was, also like her cuz she's a Pretty girl. Yeah. yeah, that helps. Well, so's Dale. So I mean, he it's, is. It's, it's equal. Pretty but, girl with a beard. And we have a pretty girl right next to Carlin. Oh. Very funny comedian contributor re to Wrestle Folks podcast. Find him on Twitter at that Eric Barnes with a K. What's up, Eric Barnes? Welcome back, pal. Oh, it's good to be back. I always have a good time with you, after buzzers. I've been uh, <laughs> the beauty in the Barnes may have to beauty become a thing. Yeah. I have a feeling we're going to get a meme in like the next 20 minutes. Yeah, do it That's right fine. now. Send yeah. it to Mustafa's me. Mustafa's already like buzzing on my phone. So. Oh my gosh. Oh, so yeah. many tweets. Mustafa. Good memes. I love it. Mustafa, he be nonstop. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, let's get. First off, I want to say um, 
I know we're going to talk about Raw, but while we're talking about wrestling, uh, yesterday, Championship Wrestling from Hollywood had the Red Carpet Rumble, the biggest event in our show's four-year history. I was very grateful I got to call all the matches, and man, it was insane. Um, Congrats, So man. many great wrestlers. AJ Styles, Trent Beretta, the entire roster that we have. Colt Cabana was there. Um, I met Jake the Snake Roberts was in the Rumble. Hall of Famer. And brought the biggest snake I've ever seen in my life. Oh, Damn. my gosh. Yeah, it was a 15-foot python. That's awesome. Yellow. Real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No CGI snakes for Jake no, Roberts. He, he came out with the bag and entered the run. Here's the beautiful part about this. There's a lot of history behind what began the DDT. The real history is that he was in the ring with this other wrestler called the Grappler, right? Mm -hmm. What actually happened was Jake had him in a front face lock. He kind of tripped. Or, or was it the grappler's uh, body falling forward? They don't really know. Someone slipped somewhere. But he, right, <laughs> he fell and bam, head hit the mat. Everyone went nuts, and Jake started calling it the DDT based off of like cyanide poison or whatever. Yes. And so they've been arguing for for like 30 years over grapplers. Like I created it, and Jake's like, no, me. Well, the grappler is involved with championship wrestling. He manages another guy. Ah. So the grappler caused Jake to be eliminated right away. But then Jake put the snake on him. So like. Just the 30 years of history to culminate there was just amazing to call that because the DDT is my favorite finisher of all yeah. time. Yeah. And Jake's this my is where wrestler. we need one of those the more you know Exactly. So I just thought it was cool. If you're a wrestling fan, I know we're talking Raw, but if you're a wrestling fan, I thought it was a cool thing just to talk That's about. Because awesome. yeah. why not? Anyway, let's get to Raw. Every superstar is on the ramp because a big announcement's coming, gang. Authority hits the ring. They say Daniel Bryan's a B-plus player, and he refuses to be a fighting champion, and everyone here deserves better. The same stuff we've been hearing for a few wah, weeks. Wah, yeah. wah. Not happy about it. Who's going to join Orton, Cesaro, ADR, Sheamus, and Bray Wyatt in the Money in the Bank match? The question will be answered tonight. There's going to be a battle royal for that final spot, but no Dean Ambrose. Nope. No Roman Reigns, uh -uh. and no John Cena. Burr. Mm -mm. You know what's funny? Two of those three ended up getting spots. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, funny that how that should happen. And then Stephanie upchucked. So it was a really... Projectile vomited. Yeah. Yes. This was a very aggressive show overall. I'm still in scarred. In all of its forms. It had attitude yeah. era style. To Honestly, that. something felt different tonight. Like, it just felt different than the last couple months. Yeah, well, all the matches, every single one was like they strapped a rocket onto everybody. Uh, they were incredibly aggressive, hard hits, hard smacks, high dives. It was all, it all felt more pay-per-view like. The only difference being that most of the finishes were, well, TV finishes in, ter in terms of trying to get the storylines uh, ready for the upcoming special event. But aside from that, the matches and the action themselves were great, just high quality. Absolutely. Speaking of great, this has me laughing out loud. Oh, right. uh, Mustafa sent us a meme. Oh, poor yeah. JTG. Then, now, forever, ah. JTG. <laughs> oh. The memes are on point tonight, though. I didn't want to laugh at that, but it's uh, funny. It, it is funny. Yeah. funny. I mean, we talked he about. He laughs at himself, so. On yeah. our, so why not, um, right? On our NXT after show this God. last week, we did talk about some of the releases, but um, I don't know if we want to touch on that tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, what? The releases. Pay attention. Oh, do, should we? I mean, just very briefly. I mean, I don't. I can't even keep track of all of them. There, uh, there were a lot. Well, yeah. I think there were 11 in total, right? Okay. I'm not sure. Uh, let's uh, let's just go down. Evan Bourne mm -hmm. uh, was released. Uh, two out of three of the three MB. Yes. Um, let's see. A referee. Refer uh, yeah, referee. Mark Harris, I believe. Oxana. 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 JTG. Teddy Long. Long. Yeah. That was oh, unfortunate. Oh, Brodus Clay. Brodus, Brodus Clay. Mm -hmm. That was the one that was most surprising Shocking. for me. Shocking. Yeah. yeah. Kurt, he seemed pretty relevant still Kurt in Hawkins. NXT. Mm -hmm. Kurt Hawkins, which, you know what, I think um, if anyone is was ready to do his own thing, it was Kurt Hawkins. Yeah. People are... I, I, I rival that to, like, Trent Beretta when he got released. Trent Beretta was the best kept secret in professional wrestling because oh, they never yeah. used him. And now he's been crushing it for a year on his own. Mm -hmm. And I think Kurt Hawkins is going to do the same thing. I mean, no doubt. so, so yeah. many of those guys have already gotten bookings in the indies. Like, it's, yeah. it's mm -hmm. crazy. So Yeah, because like, people crack jokes about, like, oh, they don't use JTG. We never see him on TV. Oh, Kurt Hawkins, what's he doing? But it doesn't mean the dudes ain't great. No. Mm -hmm. it doesn't mean not great. And it doesn't mean that they're not working. They're just not on television. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Once you're released, so. it doesn't mean your road's over. No. 
new. It kind of means that you might be doing your own thing and expanding, and like you said, in the indies, and you could just become big somewhere else that isn't yeah. televised. Absolutely, and I, I think that covered almost everyone that got uh, released. For the most part, yeah. there may be there one or two There might be a couple missing. that we're forgetting, but yeah. yeah. We hate seeing people lose jobs, so we wish them all the best of luck, and we Absolutely. hope uh, they have a great road Agreed. You know, ahead of them. Um, but, uh, yeah, where, where were we? I forget. <laughs> Speaking of opportunities. We were talking about how the show seemed a little bit different, different tonight. Yeah. 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 In a good way. In a great way. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wonder if they're just beefing things up for the upcoming Money in the Bank or if they got a new intern in the writing room. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Who are you, mystery man? <laughs> what did you do tonight? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's, there's still not a lot of setup for, besides the Money in the Bank match, we have nothing. We're going to have... <laughs> we got, well, well, we got the Money in the Bank match, and we got the tag title match. Yeah. Right. And that's kind of it. I'm sorry, but that, we need to have a, a second ladder match. we got to have a... How is there Agreed. not going to be a briefcase? Seriously. I'm going to keep whole, bitching about it till well, it happens. A second briefcase would give Seth Rollins something to do. It would give Dean Ambrose something to shoot for. Um... Heck, uh... I don't know. Some and, of the and other uh, undercard unless guys. Unless they just go straight up Ambrose Rollins. That, that's but and I'd that's rather, highly a possibility too. I'd rather have a second money in the bank ladder. And I'd rather have them in it. Yeah. Exactly. Is that something that they would announce maybe next Monday Night Raw or something? Or when would Who's they? To know. What are you doing? Come on. Here's like, the thing. You got to get seven people. Are they going to do it all? Maybe that's what next Monday Night will be dedicated to, is to set up the entire new ladder. Because I don't I don't know how you could have a money in the bank ladder match. Without the, the concept, briefcase. yeah, that's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's the entire. Isn't that name still the their graphic too? Yep. The, the yeah. briefcase. Um, I think that they changed. Did they yeah, change they've it? They've had the talking money recently, but uh, uh, mm, yeah. that's because. <laughs> but I mean, every year, the last number of years, they had two money in the bank ladder matches. Yeah. So only this year, it'd be even better. One briefcase, one title. That's even higher stakes. Yeah. I, I would say that. What if they? So they have the normal. Um, thing for the titles, and then they'll say whoever's remaining at the end. They're like, okay, well, this next match is starting right now, and we they <gasps> lower uh, briefcase, and it's like, I like go. you. Yeah. You're so cool. <laughs> 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 that's just so innovative to even think about, and yeah. that's that would be so. That's and it would be such innovative a shock. Kathy. It was mm. such a shocker. <laughs> oh, I see over here, innovative <laughs> Kathy. Um, I see K. Can I get an IC title? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, innovative yeah. title. But I don't know. I, I just think that that would be so cool because everyone like wouldn't expect it. But I don't mm. know. WWE's listening right now, and they're like, "Damn it, girl! What are you? <laughs> Shh, Believe quiet!" They, they do pay attention. Them, they do. I've been trying to get them to give Bo like his finisher to be a running elbow or something like that for months, and it hasn't happened. No. Uh, probably a bull hammer issue. You are. Hey, stay innovative. That's the most important yeah. thing. Don't look sad. Just believe. <laughs> Believe, Believe in the IC. Yes. <laughs> Innovative Kathy. <laughs> but yeah, there's got to be something. I mean, mm -hmm. we're less than two weeks from the pay-per-view, and those are the only two matches I think we have. We're going to have a Divas match, obviously, yeah. I think. Um, I maybe think Paige Naomi. Every uh, pay-per-view that we've had in the last year where the card looked underwhelming, where we were like, oh, I feel like they need something else, those have been the ones that have been the strongest yeah. because yeah. we're not expecting anything, and then it just Absolutely. delivers. Mm -hmm. So well, Money in the Bank is always fun. I mean, go, yeah. even going back, what the the Cena Punk thing is now three years ago, mm -hmm. 2011. Mm -hmm. But every Money in the Bank is fun because you have the Money in the Bank match. So I just I don't know. I'm going to be pissed if there's not a briefcase involved. The yeah. briefcase is such a fun thing to it's follow. It's iconic. Yeah, like look at what Cody and Sandow did with it. The whole you know mm -hmm. feud in the river thing. I mean, yeah. you got to have it. Yeah. And, and there's so and, many people that could be great in it. Yeah, and it, and it orig the original concept was to get upper mid-card guys who don't usually get heavyweight title shots, those shots. Mm -hmm. So, And it's a great way to beef up this already jacked-up roster. And, and at the end of the show tonight, we'll get into the seven guys that are in that ladder match, yep. and we'll talk about who we think would be best suited for the title. I don't want to get into it now because we have to figure out what happened first. <laughs> All right. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. I'm going to lower my chair real quick. Do it. <laughs> Just don't want to freak anybody out. Because they think you might <laughs> be <laughs> shrinking. <laughs> you might be well, taller than Mark. <laughs> I was just hunching over so much. I like, I it's such an eclectic go combo. I mean, me and Kathy are always, we always find, but like you two are just, it's a good looking tag team across from me. <laughs> Thank I you. Hell yeah. We could be like the. Uh, They're B&B. &B. They're B&B. &B. I was going to say um, Adam Rose and Summer Rae versus Fandango and Layla. Who are Does we? It, Wait, I, what? I mean, like, that's what it could be. Which like, ones are no, we? Mm. Well, you're blonde. We're so, the heels. So, 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 so
if we're going to I can't ahead. dance though, but she can't either. She can't either. Yeah, <laughs> she can't. <laughs> and we both have Heels. no booty. So. <laughs> Kathy, here's our thing. One, two, three. Heels. No. <laughs> Come on. Why? <laughs> 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 I knew what you were going to do, and I just didn't want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, I like the so, show. <laughs> so, anyways, they're going to give John Cena a shot, but he needs to win tonight in a stretcher match against Kane. The ambulance rolls out, Kane checks out the stretcher, and then he, he's like, okay, it's a good stretcher, and yeah. then he leaves. Much longer than it needed to be. Yes. So, Everything. we got a battle royal set up, we got a stretcher match set up, all the making for, for something great. Speaking of great, we got the show off coming to the ring. I know Carlin, your favorite superstar. He is my favorite superstar. Mm -hmm. I I love Dolph Ziggler. A lot of, a lot of us do. A mm -hmm. lot of people should. He is so great with other wrestlers. He sells everything so hard. He can work with anyone. He can work with anyone. Mm -hmm. And he makes everybody I, look so good, which in turn makes him look amazing. I just wish he would start wrestling with a helmet. He scares me. Yeah. That is the thing, and especially since he's had those two concussions in the last year, you need to take it easy because then mm -hmm. you're more susceptible to get future concussions. Yes. Mm -hmm. He, he scares me. Yeah. Yeah. But he, him and Seth Rollins, what a way to start. Good oh God. My Absolutely. Jeez. I like their little thing that's going on there. Even if he is losing to him every time, I don't care. Well, he's he's killing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first two matches, really, it's hard to, to, to pick a favorite. But we had Ziggler Rollins putting on a clinic. Ambrose attacks Rollins right after the curb stomp. So technically, Ziggler didn't get pinned. Mm. But then Ambrose was on fire with the leather jacket looking like a 50s greaser. <laughs> Straight out of Greece. The yeah. movie. Mm -hmm. Like, what's his uh, name? Johnny. He's, a, John. he's one of the T Birds. T Birds. Yeah. yeah. Forgive me. I don't know my grease. I don't either. Well, <laughs> that guy on the jacket. I just Come remember on. Rizzo getting knocked up. That's uh, all I remember know, from that movie. Dean Ambrose, James Dean. Dean from, uh, I don't know, that one book that I don't remember that everyone likes. Um, Jack Kerouac. Wrote the guy it. who was MacGyver, his name was Dean. Yeah. I think his first name in real uh, life. Dean Venture from mm -hmm. the Venture Brothers. Dean he Kane. He looks like a lot Dean of people. Kane. Dean Douglas. Shane Douglas. Now we're just together. naming guys named Dean. Yeah, we're it's just saying Dean things. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Yeah, all, I wrote, all I wrote down was Ambrose and Jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that? I loved it. Okay. They were a little too boot cut for me, but he, he rocked them. Something <laughs> happened, I think. Um, because it's the intern Rollins, who's <laughs> a new intern, in WWE. no, no. Well, well Rollins hit Ziggler with a buckle bomb, and Ziggler kept selling for a while, mm -hmm. and it looked like that they were waiting for something to happen. Mm. Rollins went on top to buy time and just did like little jabs, and then the ref broke it up, and then Rollins herked him back up for another buckle bomb, then hit the curb stomp, and that's when Ambrose showed up. I don't know if there was missed time or They yeah, might not have timed that spot well, or, yeah. Or, uh, you know, Dean was running late, or... Either way. Or, it, come on. No, 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 it's not a slam, but I just hope so, I hope that it wasn't, like, Ziggler trying to recoup and recover, and he ended up, you know, taking two of those. Well, things. he took a, a headshot in the Battle Royal that was even scarier to yeah, me. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, he rammed his head against the uh, the barricade. Stop doing that. Come on, Ziggler. I know. Get it together. Maybe he has a special spongy substance in his ramen hair. You know, part of it is, you're right. Actually, no, the hair, I think, when you do have longer hair, you can make things look. Because my, yeah. buddies, my buddies do it, that yeah. all have long oh, hair. Oh, that's why yeah. so many wrestlers have long hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It also uh, covers up the mouth when you're calling spots. Mm -hmm. That too. Yep. Smart. It was, was partially why we always hear Cena screaming out the match. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, <laughs> any who's no hair, don't care. <laughs> so Ambrose, <laughs> he said that in the Marine, I think. Um, Ambrose says he wants Rollins to fight him. Triple H hits the Titan Tron and was like, "You know what? I've got some bad news." He always does. He does. Always. Bad news, Barrett mm -hmm. hits the ring. We have bad news, uh, bad news, Barrett and Ambrose once again. Another clinic. Both yeah. matches. Um, Aggressive. Dog fight. Loved and it. And neither one ended um, with really a, a anything. A pin. No. <laughs> Rollins <laughs> interferes. Ambrose <laughs> dives onto BNB and Rollins. So technically, Bad News Barrett wins via countout. Ambrose attacks him afterwards, hits him with the dirty deeds, and uh, just. I mean, damn, you couldn't yeah. ask for a much better way to get cracking. Love mm -hmm. it. Loved it. It reminded me of, uh, I, I don't know, does anyone in this room watch Game of Thrones? Yeah. yeah. Here and there, right. yeah. 
Rollins versus Ziggler reminded me of the fight don't, between. Don't spoil oh. things yeah. for people because there are a lot of people well, who haven't seen it yet, so do not say I'm anything just about going, the I'm not going to say Well, how anything. far back are you going? I'm not I, caught I, up. I'm, I'm going to talk about something that happened. I've never seen it. I just went to it because okay. we've gotten so many people that have yelled I'm at us for doing it. I'm not going to say results. Wait, wait we don't talk about Game of Thrones on this show. What right. season, what episode? We have All right, I guess I'm not going to say anything. I must turn my brain off when I hear Game of Thrones because I didn't. Have we ever talked about Game of Thrones? Yes, we have. We have? Who? And people get mad. It wasn't me. I've never seen an episode. All right, fine. If While you, I love talking you, about Game of Thrones, we've got If you wish to hear my thoughts on <laughs> Monday Night Raw and Game of Thrones and how they correlate tonight, please tweet at me at I, Bad Eric Barnes. <laughs> I was just going to let you guys talk about it because I don't watch the show. So I, I just was going to talk about it because get over it, everybody. What's it about? <laughs> it's like the Tudors versus the Serfs. I don't know. I don't it's watch. It's epic. It's anything. It's, it's really the Capulets good. and I'm the Montagues. Sure. And Raw. The Adams Family. <laughs> Look, I got... Hey, no. that's, a, that's not it. Uh, well, well, well. <laughs> I got too much wrestling to watch. My right. priorities in order. Mm. You know, I don't watch that fake fighting on <laughs> HBO Go or whatever they're on, okay? Yeah, that silly pretend fantasy stuff. Yeah. Whatever year they're in, in their their fake world. There's yeah. naked girls in it. Okay, maybe I'll tune in. Mm. Uh, Vicky backstage with Roman Reigns. One, the first of many amazing segments for Vicky Guerrero tonight. Uh. She's backstage. All of a sudden, her and Roman are developing a thing. I don't know, but Roman says, "You know what, Vicky? They don't want to." Or actually, Vicky says, "Roman, they don't want to see you in the battle royal. The authority doesn't want you in there." Reigns says, "You know what? You're beautiful, <laughs> and you're a Guerrero." What's up, baby girl? But they're going to want sweetener in that coffee for sure, so why don't you go grab that sweetener, sugar? And she's like, okay. He slips a little something into the coffee, and then she comes back and he says, Vicky, when are you going to tell him to take this job and shove it? And then she sneezes. She's allergic to people over these past few weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's her gimmick. <laughs> yeah. And what a gimmick it is. <laughs> Do that sneeze gimmick that we love so much. <laughs> I can't uh, wait to buy the Vicky Guerrero Sneeze t-shirt, available on www.shop.com. Oh. What's yeah. it going to say on it? Excuse achoo. me. It's going to say, excuse me. Oh. Achoo, excuse me. Then on the back, say, bless you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah. They might sell, like, hotcakes. Right yeah. up there with the Yes t-shirts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have one. Are you have a Yes shirt? <laughs> yeah. What's, what, should, why are you, what are you ashamed of? You should, you should have wore it. You're I don't know. I couldn't tell your with... tone. It was like, they got those Yes shirts. I was no. like, oh, God. No, I love me some T-shirts. Okay, good. We love us some T-shirts. We love us some Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Okay. It's wonderful. If, if yes. I had enough wrestling shirts, I'd wear one every day. I have one on now because I got it yesterday. But I want you guys to know that when I do host, when I host watch parties for the LA Kings, we yes. get everybody together when the Kings are on the road and we have, what I said, a watch party. Right. When the Kings score a goal, I start a yes chant. Oh, I love you. Oh. Yeah. Every time. And Way to go. A, a, awesome. a bunch of hardcore wrestling fans go to those watch parties, and they love it. And then a bunch of the rest of the people don't even know what it is, but they love but it's it. it's easy yeah. to it's, do. Yes, it it's, catches on. It, it's crossed into comedy, too. Um, mm -hmm. There's a show every Tuesday night at the Comedy Store that I go to. It's, it's called The Roast Battle, where uh, comics roast each other. But so many comedians love wrestling. This one kid, um, he's he's uh, got uh, Asperger's syndrome, mm -hmm. but he's also like a young comic, and he's got a lot of energy. He starts off the battle every week by doing the yes chant. 90% of the people have no idea why he's doing it, but, but it makes it. him the happiest kid in the world to do it. <laughs> I did have a <laughs> yes great. chant for Fail, though I tried to do it at Staples Center during a game night and we were announcing SummerSlam tickets and mm. it was also our mascot's birthday so I said for Bailey's oh. birthday yeah him and Punk had a bet for the, for oh, the, uh, we the can, Western Finals we can get into that too in okay. a second but it was mm -hmm. it was Bailey's birthday and I said for Bailey's birthday we wanted to do a big yes chant and celebrate SummerSlam tickets being out Ooh. And it was kind of a wah wah. Whatever. It's on YouTube. <laughs> it's got quite the couple thousand views, and some people are like, "What happened?" That's okay. What is you that? tried. I tried. Yeah. yeah. And it, I and I loved it. So tell me, Bailey, boy or girl? Bailey is a man lion. He's a man lion. The person in the Bailey suit. He's not a person. He's a lion. Okay. Mm. Way to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a seller. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, so next up, Wyatt family hits the ring. Bray, he wants to talk about power tonight, guys. A little bit of power. Doesn't Sam, power will be the downfall of all mankind as we know it, man. Power and influence, that's my game, man. My brothers will destroy the Usos and take their power. Hanging above this ladder is a change you've all been praying for. And then Sheamus ruins it by coming out. Yeah. Uh, this, I, put a boot down his throat. Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah. Bella. Yeah. <laughs> what a great comeback. Shut up. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I really like this because Wyatt was gyrating more so than usual. He was using the ladder as a prop. It kind of looked like a weird combination one-man show and poetry slam. Mm. It was just a, and the lighting. And it was just Every- whimsical. And then Seamus showed up and said things. And then a fight happened. <laughs> it was a hell of a fight, though. Yeah. I like it. The matches tonight were good. They um, were all good. They were all aggressive. Yeah. On a smacking. Yeah. All I wrote down for that one was, what is Bray Wyatt talking about? I love your, your notes are, are yeah, great. They're getting, they're going to be good. They're, they're really good. thorough. Allow me to translate. Oh, God. Yeah, tell us. It's about power. It is all about power. Power means and power you climb that ladder, you grab those belts. Mm-hmm. That's power. He's essentially saying, I want to get the belts, mm-hmm. therefore I get power. Mm-hmm. And so do my boys. They are going to get the tag belts, and they will have power, and we will be powerful. Yep. And much like Ziggler. Good job. And <laughs> much, much like the first two matches, this match was very short. Maybe yeah. the shortest one of the three. Within a few minutes, Usos come down to even the store, the score, the store, <laughs> and the score. Yeah, they went to the yeah. score store. Yeah, they went to the score store. Out. Yeah, um, on can, sale. Can mm-hmm. we talk about that ladder part? Yes. Oh, oh no, we're, we're getting there. Okay. Oh, we will get there. All right, so, I want to talk about that. Get there. So get Sheamus there. setting up for the bro kick. Wyatt's attack. Usos attack. Sheamus does the rolling thunder out of the ring on Bray, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> then what he does is he gets in the ring and he holds the ladder up like so on the top rope, and we're sitting there like, no, they're not gonna. No, they're not gonna. No. And the damn Usos <laughs> run up the ladder and launch off the ladder <laughs> into the Wyatt family like that. It wasn't so much of a launch as a uh, fall with style because they, they almost didn't make it. Uh, mm, I think that they planned that so carefully. They couldn't have two of them go simultaneously up the ladder because it's so thin and they are so wide. Like they have muscles. Well, they're that are grown wide. men. Yeah, they're yes. grown so men. So they can't go yeah. at the same time. So they were going at the same time and then the ladder got skinnier at the top. So one of them had to go back a little bit and then. Well, no, I, no, no. I, no, no, no. I, I, I had no problem with physics. them uh, yeah. going. Uh, I had no problem with one of them saying, go for it, brother, uh, before the other one went. It was more along the lines of. They barely were able to have enough force to jump over, and they were almost they almost were caught by the other guys. It does yeah. not matter because it looked cool regardless. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, dangerous. I'm all about safety. Mm-hmm. That's my Dangerous, thing. I know. I mean, yeah. I imagine it's not the first time they've run up a ladder. I'm not saying it's the but first time. But still. I'm saying I hope it's the last. <sighs> I just hope people appreciate I hope people appreciate stunts like that. Oh, it's, my gosh, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. No, I agree. You know. Yeah. Then didn't Seamus throw the ladder? Yeah, that, yeah. Ladder. yeah. that looked like chunked. it hurt. That's what I yeah. felt like. We went Ooh, yeah. more awful than My, uh, running and jumping off the yeah. ladder. There's no way to walk away that from that without some bruised forearms. Exactly. Bruised forearms, or uh, I don't know if Eric Rowan finally decided to just sell a lot, but it looked like he got hit in the dome and he just kept writhing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. When you have My spirit animal felt hurt, so... <laughs> either a uh, ladder or those uh, steel steps thrown those at you. GD I feel like there's just stairs. no way to fake that. Can't fake gravity. No, you really can't. Nope. Um, whew, yeah, way to go, Usos. And everyone else. Seamus, Wyatt family, way to pull it off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Backstage, we have Vicky Guerrero once again. It's about <laughs> to get nice! She brings the coffee... To Stephanie, hands it over. Triple H is talking to his lovely wife. He turns, bam, coffee right all over Vicky. What does Triple H say, Kathy? Um, he says... What are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> I was like, what did he say? <laughs> what are you doing? What, what, what's, what's what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? He said huh? that a couple times. Yeah, what are you doing? That was the other thing is that all of the backstage segments seemed like they were live, like because mm-hmm. they would cut in like a second too late or something like that, which I actually appreciated because it felt more like it felt like there was more energy just because they clearly didn't get a second take. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, no, not good. when you're spilling coffee all over someone. That's uh, a nope. yeah, that's a one take wonder right there. Yeah. But right. even later in the show, I think there was an interview with Renee and she was mid introducing someone and it cut in. Um, Cena was it Cena? It or, was Renee? Heyman. Or, I think it was like a Kevin Hart. Yeah, thing? I don't know. Mm. One of the interviews, but Kevin Hart. They all seem live, so. Yeah. Yep. Renee Young was taller than uh, Kevin Hart. <laughs> so uh, she's tiny. So he's oh, tiny. He, he real small. He, he real fits small. in my pocket. So Vicky gets doused with Got coffee. Triple Eight says, "Get me another coffee, Vic." And Stephanie just enjoys her. We then move to Renee Young backstage, asking after the commercial break, asking Stephanie who she thinks will win the Battle Royal. She gets into it after about three words. Uh, she can't finish. She looks like something's bothering her, almost like she's nauseous. She runs off, 
Haman walks up and says, where there is chaos, there is opportunity. <laughs> and he says a lot of things. Basically, the main point of the conversation is Cesaro will become the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion at Money in the Bank. Then he gets right in Renee's grill, which I'm sure she loved. And so that's not a prediction. That is a spoiler. Paul Heyman. Uncomfortableness. Yeah. And she, <laughs> does, she does the little like. Oh, that's going to be a that's, that's going to be a meme for sure. And that's the thing. He does he does the weird face scrunch and then slowly moves away. Like they were like almost kissing. Yeah, mm -hmm. like this far. I mean, when, when far. I wish they did. When he does something like that, it's impossible for Renee. I mean, she, of course, she was laughing. It's of impossible course. not yeah. to. Yeah, but that's natural. Like yes, I think that's a game they all like to play. Can we corpse Renee Young? It, that's a game everyone likes to play in interviews. You're yeah. always, if, well, the, the real pros, like the, the guys that can't talk are just trying their best to do a pro, but guys like Heyman mm -hmm. or guys like Percy Pringle, you know, Paul Bear, they can mess around. I think around. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Try and make them laugh. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Try to throw them off just because it's funny. <laughs> Percy got in my face a couple times doing interviews, and I cracked every time. Oh. Aww. When he when, when when Paul Bear screams oh yes in your face you're gonna laugh your ass off. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have no choice. Uh, and you're gonna thank him for it afterwards. Like thanks for that moment, Paul. <laughs> Percy. Uh, so yes, that's a that's not a prediction. That's a spoiler. Cesaro Heyman gonna continue domination according to Paul. Next, I like this moment. Well, first off, Heath Slater's already in the ring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're fine with that. Rusev comes down. <laughs> Carlin, what does Lana say to America? Shut up! Wait, wait, one more time? Shut up! Okay, what, what, what else? She says, shut up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she basically says, Russia rules, American men suck. She oh. had the best eye roll during this before, like, because there was a USA chant going on, and then she just eye rolled, oh. and then the shut up happened. And then this she, is the most Rusev has ever spoken. She is getting so good at paying attention to the crowd and playing yeah. off oh, the yeah. crowd and listening to them and waiting and even just those small minuscule eye rolls, the yeah. smirks, the yeah. everything. Her facial expressions. I'm in love with her. Lana, Lana is <laughs> awesome. Crush? My only uh, my my only caveat is that she mentioned about You mean your cavite? My cavite. Got it. My only cavite. <laughs> Mm -hmm. is that uh, she mentioned about uh, the faded American colors, which are red, white, and blue. Sure. Ref if you looked at the Russian flag recently, the colors also happen to be <laughs> red, red, white, white and, and blue. blue. But, but, but according to her, they're in HD. Oh, oh okay. right. All right. Right. So also, yeah. just, just, uh, put, uh, they just put in uh, that nice uh, detergent that makes colors. She puts filters on Prime? American oh. things. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I, she puts in the 1977 uh, filter. Ah, I remember her. Yeah, okay. That's what happens. Mm. But well, uh, speaking of Lana, though, really cool moment. Uh, let's go back to SmackDown. I love this, and I hope it leads to something. I don't know if it's going to. But uh, Jack Swagger was in a match with Adam Rose. Lana comes out and just starts running her mouth, and Zeb gets pissed off. Mm -hmm. And this is what I want to see. Zeb shoos her away. Swagger loses basically because of a distraction. But Lana just had this evil, like, just mean look on her face looking at Zeb. And, dude, people want to root for Zeb. I would love to see this feud. I would love to see Sa uh, Swagger Rusev. I want to see Swagger Rusev. I want to see a mixed tag match <laughs> with Swagger and Zeb versus Lana and Rusev. Oh, dude. I wonder if Lana is going to come out in Russell. She's going to. She oh, is. She is. Like, she's been, she's been training like when for about a year. You can tell she's been training. She yeah. Her legs keep getting bigger, and I'm like, damn, girl, that's butt. Oh, no, my she, God. She, I'm, just, was, uh, I'm waiting for it, she, and I don't know when. She's a good athlete. She'll, yeah. be, um, she'll yeah. be wrestling at some point. Can't I wait. love you, Lala. <laughs> Lala? Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> and they've inserted him into Rusev's opening, which makes me just laugh my arse off. It's amazing. But we're not done with this segment. No, we're not. Boy, Heath Slater, oh. our hero. He is the Heath Beyonce Slater. of the Destiny's Child. Yeah. <laughs> Losing two bandmates. Poor guy. Oh, we forgot to mention Drew McIntyre and Jenner Mahal in the release. Mm -hmm. That's who it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mentioned two no, out of the three MB. We, we did mention Oh, you did. Well, yeah. our memories but, are just. But not by name. So you're, so you're correct. But I'm happy to see Heath Slater still there, and he gets on the mic, and he said, You know, if Rush is so good, why don't y'all just go back? We're all sick of it. Tonight you're going to go against the American rock star in, in the U.S. What's it? The American rock star in the USA, baby! <laughs> that was a good moment. Yeah. Yep. It was a great Heath Slater moment. Immediately squashed, though. Then it became Rusev kick and Rusev crush in about 20 seconds. Yeah. But... Uh, I'm I'm ready for Rusev to have real matches with people now. But I yeah. still like the fact that got Heath Slater over. 
-hmm. It did for a couple minutes. A couple seconds, but couple still, seconds. it got him over for maybe stuff oh, yeah. in the future because people are wondering, like, well, what the hell now? 3MB's gone, mm -hmm. but they can you know, is he going to be Uncle, uh, Cousin Clem or whatever he is? But I, I, I like this, the, how he got in the microphone and oh, yeah. got everyone behind him. Yeah, the crowd loved it. So why not? I think, well, people like Slater, man. Like, the, people like the 3MB. It was fun to root for him because you know they're going to get blown out. I'm it's like they're the, you know, the, I don't want to say the it's Cleveland really Browns sad. because we're in Cleveland tonight. <laughs> No, you're not wrong, though. But they're like the Washington Generals. You know, the question is, how much are they going to lose by yeah. to the Globetrotters? But now they're gone, so you want to see Heath get something. Mm -hmm. you know. Maybe that should Great be the Washington General Heath Slater. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Not bad. Yeah. Not good either. So Rusev <laughs> Crush, guys. Uh, Rusev Crush. Rusev Crush. Do you want me to do it? Oh, well, yeah. Rusev Crush! That was really yes. good. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the blonde thing. <laughs> She needs a top bun. I need a top and then bun. You're her. Like I was telling you earlier, her bun keeps getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. Just large, it's just filling up more circumference yeah. on her head, and well, I don't know how. Just I let mean, me in on your bun secrets, Lana, because <laughs> I'm into it. It might be that old. Sock remember bun. that old infomercial? What was it called? Topsy Tail. They would sell it for like twenty bucks, and girls would buy it to do fancy things with Did their hair. Did you have one? No. I, how do you remember? I need to get one for he my beard, one. apparently. Because I <laughs> topsy beard. Topsy beard. Yeah, you should Beard put a comb bun. in there. Put a comb, just, just leave it. Start braiding it. So, Kathy, now Sorry, it's time. Let my goddaughter do that. Kathy, now it's time for your Lana impression, <laughs> and we'll we'll vote on who looks um, better. Okay. Rusev, crash! Okay. Mm -hmm. Carlin wins. Let's move yeah. on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> backstage! I'm sorry! <laughs> it was good. That's Vidanya! So yeah, that was great! That's, that's what you get for not going with my heel thing earlier. You know, you ditched me, I ditch you. I All right. Backstage. Ow! <laughs> oh! Ten thousand more views. He didn't even know right that there. was coming. Do you slap him every week? Uh, not every week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's it's roughness. <laughs> no, not every week. This is actually the first slap we've had in a few months. She should. Mm -hmm. she we should. we had a, we had a thing where we had slaps two or three the weeks in a row. Box. Yeah. And the, I was getting slap happy. Yeah. And then. And it was he best said, for business because people liked it. We no. needed to take a little break from slapping. Yeah, you can't give people what they want all the time. Hurt. Right. Poor thing. My cheeks get red. He clearly doesn't care it's about our mine. viewers and what they want. Oh, I think everybody uh. should tweet at you and tell you whether or not they want to see more slaps in the future. <laughs> Vote on the AfterBuzz Twitter app. <laughs> <sighs> Look what I started. Mm. Yeah, please. Go ahead. <laughs> You're never going to have me back. So, yeah. Uh, Roman Reigns and Vicky Guerrero interact again. Yeah. Yep. Actually, uh, first stuff, oh, though. I missed Summer it. Summer Backstage, Triple H. Oh, that. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's Steph in the bathroom having some uh, issues, to say the least. Right. And I love this. Triple H almost has like a classic Vince moment, like Vince comedy moment, where he goes, like, he's like, Vicky, you're going to have to go in there and check on her. I'm not going in there. Like, <laughs> 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 that was pretty good. Steph. That was really good. Opens the door He's and puke. She's gonna puke. <laughs> Exorcist style, just bam, like just straight ahead projectile. Yeah. And then Vicky. Campbell's chunky all over. It looked yeah. like leftover catering plus a magic bullet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> just, just. She Vitamixed all over Vicky. Vitamixed. All yeah. I love it. Yeah, and love then it. Triple H bounces and Vicky screams like a damn Jurassic Park velociraptor. Like yeah. she always does. Oh, yeah. yeah. This was a bad one, though. Screaming yeah. Vicky is, is amazing. Mm. Can you Hashtag imagine the, the poor camera guy in the room when she's doing that? Oh, like, God. Man, I felt I bad for The levels are off. Involved. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 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 sound speeding. God, I'm going to uh, hate this. Brain, um, <laughs> so then after the commercial break, Roman Reigns finds Vicky, and, and yes. of course, uh, she's not. Well kept at this point. Nope. Uh, Chunks of potato in her hair. Right. <laughs> Much like a Campbell's commercial. Indeed. Um, Roman says, you know, most likely Steph is going to fire you next week, yeah. but you could still stand up to them. Make it official. Put me in the battle royal. And she says, I, I don't want to scream, but she screams, fine, you're in. Mm -hmm. So is Vicky one of the people leaving? Did we figure that out? I don't know. Okay. Does anyone know? I think she got some tweets that said that Vicky was one of the People, people that got released. But like a, a very, like, I didn't see that. She was, uh, she wasn't announced as released in the sources I yeah. usually read, but she may be leaving. I know I she's know. been going to school, yeah. and so. Um, what is she major? And her in? daughter was recently released. Yeah, a ago. which is that's a bummer. Yeah. Um, but I think that if if that is true, that it was a very, um, like, they parted on good terms. Oh yeah. Thing. Yeah. 
So. Oh yeah. Well, it, I they, mean, if they did part, I don't know. Yeah. They Vitamixed all over her face. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they they tend to. I wish they were our sponsor. That'd own. be the perfect like product integration. <laughs> <laughs> Vitamixed all over her. <laughs> Vitamix, uh, are you listening? And it was smooth. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, Roman Reigns is officially in the battle royal because apparently Vicky still has a little bit of power. I yes. Guess. I yeah that just confused me because in my bit. head in my head I thought oh both Trips and Steph will drink the coffee, leaving Vicky in charge, mm -hmm. and then. Reigns continues to sweet talk Vicky, and then Vicky's like, "Okay, you're in." Right, and then she gets fired. Yeah. Either way, she's fired. In next this, week. yeah, in this way, uh, in this way, uh, it absolves like Triple H and Stephanie from the responsibility of why didn't they just show up to say, "Hey, he, hey, my rules trump your rules. You're not in anymore, Mister." Yeah. Right. Mm. I because mean, apparently he's a high school principal in well, this scenario that <laughs> painted. He would be a, a scary one. Well, they did. Uh, they he said he Triple H took her to the hospital. So oh, okay. So <laughs> that would explain why they couldn't yeah. come out and veto it. Like they, he, uh, he, he took her to the hospital immediately. He's being a good husband after he didn't check on her in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> he still took her to the hospital. What a I mean, great don't guy. you know you gotta hold a woman's hair up? Apparently not. Steph yeah. had wet hair. That's no but good. But it came straight out, yeah. so right. she didn't need her hair held up because it went mm. like this. Like, yeah. mm. Has that ever happened to you guys? I've never. I haven't thrown <laughs> up since I was seven years old. Jesus. Huh. And that's why I'm so scared of it. I know you guys were like, what's probably wrong you with you? You never had a crazy <laughs> night in college? or I don't now drink. I shaved my head. Good I, for you. I have dr drank, but I don't drink now, and I, it's, ugh, ugh. I'm just afraid of vomit. Yeah, me neither. Mm. Nope. Never. You sure about that? Not, a, not even a little. Nope. Not even a little. Nope, not a drop. Do you have a projectile vomit story that you want to share? That sounded like that you why? did. No, actually, no. You, are you sure? No, I, I, no, I like, it never happened to me. You're like I've, waiting on this subject. You're like, hmm, does anybody else no, have I one? Just, <laughs> it's, it's never happened to me. I, I, don't worry, I've, I've had a little bit too much at times, but yeah. it's never been. Uh, so it's never been. Yeah, it's never. I've never to, Vitamixed. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like a super soaker, you know, yeah. just a powerful spray happening. No, just, no, no, no. It's just like... Mmm. It's just like, I lay down, oh, I. Well, why is the room is spinning? Like? Let's get up now. That's all. It's, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's just a little like, oh. Just, you know, well, shenanigans, guys. Shenanigans, Great we all visual. have. Indeed. Moving on, yeah. Renee Young backstage with Kevin Hart and... Uh, <laughs> and his awesome fish sweater. Yes. That's what I wrote. Kevin Hart comes out, fish sweater. That's <laughs> pretty much all that happened. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Adam Rose interrupts, yeah. says, Stop thinking like a man, start thinking like a rosebud. And he's like, uh, No In thanks, man. I don't watch wrestling. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you can Wonka tell that's what he was glasses. saying. And hat. Was it? Yeah, it was the Willy Wonka glasses from the oh, Johnny yeah. Depp version. And, and the hat from the Gene Wilder version. Kind of did. Yeah. I want them. Yeah. yeah. I wish he had the hair of Gene Wilder. <laughs> oh, God, yes. <laughs> that would have been cool. I wish he was Gene Wilder. I know. Yeah. So Kevin Hart then comes down to the ring after the commercial break, hits the announcer's table, basically saying he's pumped up for his movie, uh, Think Like a Man, T-O-O, not two, but, you know, two, you get the wordplay. Um, <laughs> Fandango and Layla hit the ring. I, I think it'd be great if Thinking Like a Man 2 also had a talking baby that only the audience could hear, like, yeah. remember Look Who's Talking <laughs> yeah. To. Look Who's Talking To. Yeah. I thought it would uh, be, like, Thinking Like a Man 2, still thinking. Yeah. Or something. I Thinking don't like a man too. Still not good at it. Yep. Thinking like a man. Think, a, th think like a man, the second one. Think yeah. like a man too. Yeah, we're shocked. Like Shark theaters. Theaters. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking like a man too. We swear Tyler Perry's not behind it. That think, would be a good title for this. Think like a man too. Netflix said no. <laughs> you guys are good. <laughs> like, no, I'm gonna, are you being sarcastic? No. Okay. I'm, I'm in, oh, I thought she was. You didn't <laughs> laugh. You didn't laugh, so I was like. You guys are good. <sighs> No, you guys are great. <laughs> the way you said that, you sound like the girl at the bar that like didn't even want to accept a drink from a dude because you're like, no, nah, I didn't even want to bother talking to him. Yeah, oh, no, I'm you. good. That was good. Okay. Mm. It was good. So Fandango and Layla. <laughs> it was good. Thanks, thanks Carla. You. You're welcome. Fandango and Layla hit the ring, as do Summer Rae and Adam Rose. A little mixed tag match. This lasted maybe two minutes. Party foul for the win. Yep. And then Kevin Hart joins the Rosebuds in a little bit of a trust fall, which Yay. I'll be honest, that looks super fun. It does. I want to do a trust fall. I yeah. know. Do you want to do it now? I mean, Barnsley will catch you. I will. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to lean into you. Okay. Ready? We'll call the action. No, you got to stand and do it. Okay. I don't know if the cameras oh. will catch it, but. Do we take our headsets off? You have to do yep. it over Probably there. Should. Do it in that corner. All right, guys. We got plenty of time because, uh, yeah, we got plenty. Let's yeah, do this. We got time. Okay. All right. Carl and Bath heading over to the. Uh, stand on the couch. Right here. Right here. Just looking. No, no, no. 
Oh yeah, that one works. There we go. That works. Ready? All right, we're gonna do trust fall. Right into Eric Barnes. She doesn't catch me. I'm never coming back. She, she's gonna close her eyes. She's gonna get ready for it. And oh, what an amazing oh. trust fall! Oh, that's oh, wonderful. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm totally coming back. You it feels guys, exactly uh, like that second. Hey. <laughs> yeah. You trust Eric, and I get slapped over here. That's, uh, <laughs> oh my god. It's a good win win. It's We're good having dynamic. fun over here. <laughs> good dynamic over on this end of the. Bathe and Barnes. You want to get Bathe and Barnes? Shut up, Kathy. <laughs> um, yeah. So party foul for the win. Um, once again, Fandango. Uh, killing me. I, I, I dig the Layla fan, uh, the Layla Summer Rae thing though. This matchup yep. was hilarious. I loved it. And then, like the uh, when Fandango came out and they were still singing Adam Rose's song, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Wait, <laughs> doing the Fandango? Right. Like on. what? Just who? who come on, everybody! Da, 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 yeah." Da, da, and Summer Rae, Layla, da, I, I like da, da, what they're doing. The, the the milk followed by the kitty litter. It seemed like uh, for a while I was like, okay. They need to figure out where this is going. And now, like this week, I was back on board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really liked it. Yep. Cat fight. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Layla's really good. One thing she's always been good at is selling, getting the crap beat out of her in an embarrassing way. I don't necessarily mean in the ring. I'm talking like like food fights, craft services. Like Layla's really good at, at, at selling that kind of stuff. Yeah. And when Summer, you know, hit her with the milk and the and the, the makeup chair, and then Layla cracked her with that kitty litter. Yeah, I think they are setting up a cat fight theme because, you know, cats, they drink milk. There's kitty litter involved. You're so smart. I'm something. It uh, could be cat That went over my head. Oh, a catastrophe. Oh, my God. You it's going to be good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, nice feline. What? I was trying to come up with a third one, but Not I didn't. cathartic? Mm. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Hey. Kathy Kelly. <laughs> Kathy Kelly. Jesus. Cat you know what? You're you're getting out of control. Right, cat. Innovative out. Kathy. Right. Yeah. I see. Old, uh, old I see just getting into old it. Old I see. Just all over the place. Uh, next it's Battle Royal time. <laughs> that's, Yay! That's, that's my favorite time. It, it was a great time. Indeed. Uh, one. everyone's in the ring. Roman Reigns hits the ring, and we didn't mention this. Uh, everyone's getting new music. Yeah. yeah. Except the old old Roman. I don't know if I like the new music. Though. Well, it doesn't have the the shield call. It's just not as memorable. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're working on it. Like we we were talking about this in the room that I think that both to a point Seth Rollins and sort of Dean Ambrose have like okay let's give them generic rock five and generic rock seven while we get Jim in the back to actually make them something. I don't think they do that. Mm -hmm. I just think Jim Johnson probably hasn't slept in a week and he's trying to make new music. They oh, did yeah. that with Cesaro. Remember his first song and then the second the second version with the. Ugh. Like the, the, they, yeah. they did the kind of generic song when he first came out. He's he was coming out. Let me back he up. Came out to he came out to nothing then. with Paul Heyman for a couple times, and then they had that s a song, and then yeah. it changed just slightly. Well, mm -hmm. So I feel like they might do that with uh, Roman Reigns and, well, and Dean Ambrose. Well, with Reigns keeping the Shield music makes sense. He's yeah. not changing anything about his physical appearance, and the music is it, it does make more sense but for it's his. Like a, it was like know? a beefed up version of their yeah. Regular song. Heavy bass. And no. then I miss I miss the opening because I like what it's like the Greek alphabet or something. Echo it's it's the um, blah blah. It's, oh, it's, mil it's mil military code. Yeah. Sierra. You're so smart. Something. Uh, something. My I don't boyfriend told me it was the Greek alphabet. Whatever. He's here, Delta. Did, did he really? He did. Was he serious? I don't know. I'm gonna have to talk to him. He probably. Would. <laughs> You're gonna have to have a long, hard conversation Excuse with me. your boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure Honey. that you're smart? Are you sure? <laughs> Sorry, Colin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Killed too many brain cells wrestling. Eddie Hoozles. <laughs> He's like so Ooh. short, too. He's like, it's the Greek alphabet. Oh, my God. Cool. That makes no sense at all. I don't uh, know. It's sort of the Greek alphabet, but it's mostly it's mostly military code. I don't know yeah. if Sierra is a Greek no, alphabet it's not. figure. No. Delta, Delta is. Delta is the only one that is. Echo is not. No. no. You can Bravo tell him it's not. the NATO phonetic alphabet to prove him wrong. Who's that? You. Who is oh, that? That is our uh, lovely producer and engineer. Yes. Does everybody else hear him? Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Television. Wave hi to him. Hello. Hey, man. What's up, guys? Uh -huh. Thanks for the knowledge. Thank you so much. That was so great. So, battle roll time. LeBron James eliminated first. So that's two <laughs> nights in a row he gets knocked out. That's a bummer. <laughs> uh, if there's any night to not wear to wear a LeBron James jersey where it wouldn't piss off Cleveland, it probably would be tonight because the Heat just got blown out in the yeah. NBA Finals. 
My note for that was, give him a chance. Oh, you mean Sandow, <laughs> not LeBron. Sandow. Yeah, yeah no. Sandow. Oh, I, Sandow. You know, I say it every week, I gotta believe it's going somewhere. I hope so. Just the battle royal didn't give a great chance, just, no. it just kept it going. What's he gonna be dressed as next week? Or tell me what city they're in. I don't know, I'm gonna guess Gumby, though. <laughs> Wow, what city's Gumby from? Where's he reside? I don't know, but hey, one time they had him as Magneto, so maybe the city may not matter. I think he would come out dressed as Pokey, though. Pokey? Maybe. Mm. Let's see. Maybe. It's possible. So he gets eliminated first, which, you know, it is what it is, followed by Santino, both Matadores. A lot of cool spots in this. Uh, Reigns tosses out Titus O'Neil. Ziggler takes a nasty headshot. <laughs> To the barricade wow. when he gets eliminated. How about Reigns with a Superman punch to Rusev? That is mm -hmm. awesome. The first time. Mm -hmm. the, f the final four oh, in not this the final match. One. Uh, oh. This was one of oh. the better memes that we've gotten. It oh. was Oprah, and it's like, Superman punch for you, and a Superman punch oh. for you. <laughs> you get a Superman punch. You, you get, get a Superman, Superman punch. punch. You get a punch. Superman punch. You get a Everyone gets a Superman punch. We, we, have, yeah. we have a Vitamix meme. Oh, that's, Vitamix. that's delicious. Oh. You get a Vitamix. Oh. You Ros get a Vitamix. in Washington next week. Washington? Where in Washington? D.C. Oh, well, he's oh. going to be dressed Sorry, as George Washington. Sorry, Washington, D.C. is... He'll be dressed as a founding father. He'll be dressed as either yeah. George Washington or Lincoln. I'm going to guess Washington Lincoln, State. maybe. Look, I mean, his <laughs> beard. Yeah. He's going to be Lincoln. He's going to be dressed as Lincoln. Just don't go to the play, Sandow. Just Wait, don't go. Do you think he'll have a thing with Lana because he'll be all like USA and then maybe Lana, uh, Sandow? Because if get he dresses up. Rusev? And then oh, no. they'll do like a Putin thing. Uh, and then maybe. Like a, that could. Oh, what am I calling? <laughs> Hey. <laughs> it could be a thing. I'm fucking stuck. And Obama could be the special guest next week. Maybe oh he dresses God. like Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that'll happen. He could be happen. on commentary. This is great. You get a president, and you get a president, <laughs> and you get a president. Hey, we all get presidents. If you smell, Barack is cooking. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. My client... Barack Obama. Oh, there's a lot. Obama can get in a lot we of don't stables. Write maybe. <laughs> after his uh, after his tenures up as president, he could join a b bunch of stables in Indeed. pro wrestling if he wanted to. Be a manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, he he's good on the mic. Uh, yeah, that's I mean, how he got elected. As long as, yeah, as long as someone writes his speeches, he's good on the mic. Yeah, well, my WWE staff. Good. <laughs> True. Just as good. Or Zeb, or Zeb Coulter. Or Zeb Coulter, yeah. Was that I would love to see Obama impression? yell about my... Oh, Just the funny. hands. That's the only part of the impersonation. Uh, my client. Uh, <laughs> now, Lana, uh, I don't agree with uh, what you're saying about America. Uh, now, this Zeb. That's great. Now, Zeb Coulter, uh, although I think you're a bit abrasive at times, uh, I do agree overall that I do like America. Why hasn't Saturday Night Live picked you up already? He doesn't have a southern accent. Hey, look, look. He's from Chicago. I'm improv in here. And I He's talked to Jack Chicago. Swagger, and I said to him, Jack, you are representing our nation. You're representing it well. Now you're George and Bush. And everything's going to be great. Uh, Obama? It's mine. <laughs> oh, Jack's mine. Jack's Maybe mine. Maybe we should leave <laughs> Jack's, the uh, Jack's my friend. Obama I believe Jack Swagger's mine. Back to oh, back in Okay. Clinton. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, Bill anyways, Bill the final three in the battle royal was actually f final four. Bad News Barrett, Bo Dallas, they shared a nice hug and a bull hammer, but then, of course, uh, BNB gets eliminated. We're down to Bo Dallas, Rue Seven Reigns. How about Bo Dallas? Yeah. With a, with a fun showing. I yeah. love him. Same I know. Way. I told you guys You're that. a little higher on him than most. I think yeah. I am. Well, because she's watched NXT. I watched him so in so NXT. I. So, I mean, super high. so you should like him, either. too. So I I'm just, indifferent. I think he's funny. I think he's bringing mm -hmm. a good goofy spark right. right now without having some weird silly costume or I'm sorry Adam Rose like I know you're goofy and you're great but <laughs> I think he's bringing this goofy spark without even doing anything crazy. Mm -hmm. He's just when <sighs> with that row of teeth of his. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's just this beautiful beaming smile. But that thing with our truth when our truth on came Smackdown, out on very Smackdown funny. and he came out and he was just standing in the court corner going, "What's up?" What's up? Like <laughs> super into it. Then yeah. he hit the microphone and uh, Truth goes, "What's up?" and he goes, "What's going on?" Amazing. Like, yeah. He's a comedic genius. That's he's just he's like that do. awkward like Absolutely. kid that like Absolutely. occasionally like a little bit delusional, throws temper tantrums. That's what I love about him. I think a lot of the people that are in the WWE universe might not watch, you know, Raw main event, mm -hmm. SmackDown, and NXT, so yeah. they're not super up to date on maybe who he is or what he does, so a lot of people are just kind of like, oh, 
heck is this guy? His but the personality vignettes, will come yeah. out. It'll, It'll come, come out. out. Yeah. As long as they, if they keep him around for enough time and they let him have that time to shine, maybe right. in like Being a month, goofy. I feel like he'll really come into his own. Because mm -hmm. I don't know that it's completely crossed over from NXT to, you know, the main shows yet. Exactly. I'm glad you mm -hmm. said that because uh, on Jim Ross's podcast recently, he mentioned about how, and I like, I love Jim Ross listening to him now because he's impartial. He's not with anyone anymore. He's yeah. just doing his thing. Mm -hmm. And he said, when you bring a new talent to the table, you have to have a six month plan for them. Yeah. If you don't have a six month plan, bringing them up is pointless and it's going to fail. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So Bo Dallas You're is not even stowed. giving them a real right. shot like if they Glacier. only get like two months. Yeah. Glacier. Wait, yeah. you know Glacier? <laughs> how the hell do you know Glacier? <laughs> Were you been watching, you've been watching the network, <laughs> haven't you? I've watched a lot of WWE <laughs> Network. <laughs> <laughs> you watched that countdown episode, didn't you? I did. And that yeah. was the funniest freaking Glacier. thing I've ever seen. Eric Bischoff has oh admitted that was all him. He's like, yeah, everything about Glacier was me. And Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I thought I, I, I was all like thinking it was all Mortal Kombat yeah. related. Well, that's what it, it was. Just, He's yeah. like, Mortal Kombat was huge, and I, th yep. I I really put way too much time into Glacier and did not Epic yet. Blood runs Fail. cold. Oh, God. Jesus. So There's nothing worse than something that's supposed to be dead serious coming out so hokey. <laughs> <laughs> Snow in the arena. Snow. Yeah. In, a, in a TV studio. In a studio in Orlando. So silly. Yeah. The day after Bash at the Beach. I don't know if it was, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know. On the Bash at the Beach set, which is sand. <laughs> I, almost, I almost just looked so cool until you called me out and watched <laughs> the network a lot. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I was that. watching that when I was seven. Look, okay. Colin, <laughs> Look, you're just showing your street cred yeah. in the wrestling Sup. world. Everyone, everyone, people, I admit, I, girl's going crazy over it. I learned tons of stuff by <laughs> watching the network. I don't, I can't remember anything anymore. If I, I watch the network, that's what I, I learned. Yeah. Older. There's some stuff I, I remember, but not network. everything. Yeah, the mm -hmm. network is a high school yearbook. I just look at it and go, oh yeah, right. that happened. It is. Uh, yeah. That's so. how it is. Uh, anyways, final three, Roman Reigns, Bo Dallas, Rusev. Of course, Dallas gets ejected. Final two, Rusev and Reigns. This was oh a gosh. fantastic ending. Barnes, take it away. Oh, my God. The crowd was it was amazing. Cleveland rocks. You guys were awesome for <laughs> they this. They were. They were. Both, and it showed that both guys had attention, that both guys were over to a point, and people yeah. were ready, and they are like, it was as if the gods of the wrestling fans said, yes, newness. I almost new feel like. people, well, that, give us. It, and this they were moment, so aggressive. Preach! Yeah, Pre this moment I think was starting at Rusev over a little bit. Oh yeah, it was. do you know why? Because he's facing a guy he's that isn't a job. Yeah, that's why. But then mm -hmm. also we were all on the edge of our seats during the last like thirty seconds. We, yeah. were, we were waiting to see what was gonna happen. Yep. I stopped checking Twitter for one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you knew who was Even gonna win. Even though I ruined that match for myself, I Man. looked at Twitter for one second. We were a couple minutes behind, and I was like, Oh no, well, guys! They did a great job. In, oh no! In the sense that most people would have thought, Well, of course Reigns is gonna mm -hmm. win, but. They did a great job of showing that Rusev had a part. See, yeah. I'll be honest. I was thinking had, Rusev had a shot, though. That's what I'm yeah. saying. They did he a great did. job selling that part. Um, I also part. wanted to say that I feel like a lot of the people, there was a, a couple minutes long where it was just, it was kind of weird how it was booked in the middle where, like, people that have feuds or have had feuds recently were the ones who were eliminating each other. Like, uh, Biggie and Rusev face each other for a second, and then RVD and Barrett face each other mm -hmm. for a quick good minute. Eye. And then yeah. I was like, huh. That's a good battle royal. Mm -hmm. But then finally, yeah. at the end, that's when I was like, and oh. RVD so and Bo good. had an interaction. <laughs> and Bo and Bo eliminated RVD, so there may be a possible... The great thing about battle royals is that they could also revisit old yeah. feuds and also create new ones yeah. based I loved off that. how Bo was so surprised when he eliminated him. He's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that, that's just wonderful. I really enjoyed. I'm glad Bo had a nice little run in the battle royal because yeah. that that was that got uh, him over more mm -hmm. too. I think mm -hmm. so. That was yeah. good. That was well, I think fun. we did on SmackDown did too. It got him over with me. That was it was mm -hmm. a, it was as small of a moment as it was. Kind of like what Heath Slater did tonight. Just, little things like that. Yeah, All you need is little, little moments, uh, baby steps. That's yeah. week 85, and chat roll says he wanted Bo to win. Oh wow. He's yeah. allowed to want that. Yeah. I would like you to see are. Bo in the uh, the non-existing Money in the Bank briefcase ladder match. There you go. That doesn't exist. Why that we're not? just making up. Yeah. I would like to see him in there. I'd like to see him. Or they're going to start right after yeah. the title match, mm -hmm. you know. Hey, we'll see. <laughs> title ladder match, and then they'll bring the briefcase down, and then... And everyone's kind of like <laughs> sprawled around the ring, and they're like, you have to get back in. Right yep. now. <laughs> and then they'll announce the new Raw General Manager, Innovative Kathy. Mm -hmm. I see... 
Hashtag I see. I also kind of liked uh, that, you know, when WrestleMania is coming around, they have the WrestleMania banner and they show guys just looking at it or yeah. pointing at it. Uh, most of the people tonight were just looking, like both Rusev and Reigns in the middle of the match just looked up at the hanging titles. It's yeah. great. Uh, just to build that up and then so Reigns dramatic. afterward just did the bro fist. You got to be aware. To the la- that's, yeah. that's one of the things that we miss, though, is that I feel like the last two years before Money in the Bank, they show the briefcase like the couple weeks before we get the pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. And we don't have that. Mm-hmm. This year, so maybe there won't be a briefcase. Man, that, that would just be hugely they just have disappointing. The talking money. Uh, then who's gonna come out with the briefcase exactly. during the year? Yeah, and that's my want point. A title match. Well, it's always winter, never you, Christmas. You need Someone. like when you have a show on three hours every single Monday on top of the other programming. You need as many storyline options as you can. Without the briefcase, they're, they're doing themselves a disservice and everybody else. I think they'll have it. I think so too. I don't know. What does, what does chat will really think? I imagine they would agree with us. Yeah, guys, let us know what you think. Yeah. What Re- do you think? Moving on, Renee Young backstage with John Cena. Mm-hmm. He showed everyone his helping hand, and then he <laughs> counted down, basically saying he's going to win the money in the bank and win the title. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything else needs to be said? About I wanted him to use wacky. a different finger at the end. She thought he I was going to give the middle be finger. Funny. <laughs> and then it was just this finger. No, nope, it was corny. No, that was, the PG. doctor of thugonomics would have done the middle finger. Yes. But we don't have that. We have no. We do not. Child, they just friend of out? all children, right. John Cena. Yeah. Well, what we do have is the Funkadactyls. Oh, Funk is on a roll. They hit the ring. Funk is on a roll. I haven't seen him in a while. Funk Page versus Cameron. Cameron Somebody doing some. Thumb. Keep going. <laughs> Somebody Cameron's thumb. blonde now. Cameron doing yeah. some some mean uh, evil things to Page. Yeah. But of she course, Paige with the win. Very, uh, like she looked like she's gotten more aggressive recently, and I wonder if it was because Alicia Fox has gotten so aggressive, yes. so she wants to step up her game. I made that correlation in my brain, but didn't vocalize it. I yeah. thought that same exact thing, where I was like, she's going on a little Alicia Fox right now, and I, I completely agree with yeah. you. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah they, the ladies uh, st- uh, just stepped up, and it, again, the theme of the entire night for each match was aggression yep. and just yep. mm-hmm. smack fighting and just yanking and pulling and falling. But and, she was mm. also, I feel like... And slapping. Um, and slapping. Yeah. Don't do it. And trust say, falling. Get another slap. Uh, get another no. slap. No. No. Summer Rae is very <laughs> vocal in the ring, and then I feel like Alicia just took it to that next level. But tonight, I heard Cameron, like, very, like, screaming mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And I feel like she's hasn't done that as much in the past. It's yeah. because mm-hmm. they know their spots, their, their spots to be taken. There's no AJ oh, right yeah. now. Paige is a yep. champion. Mm-hmm. You know, now now's the time to step up. Mm-hmm. So every opportunity you get, you better. And plus, when when you see eleven people get fired, yeah, you know that you better step it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, agreed. Scary. So. But anyway, Paige uh, with the submission for the victory. Um, I don't know where this is going to lead because obviously Naomi is, you know, what we would consider to be the the cream of that team. Mm-hmm. Naomi didn't do anything. No. Uh, do we? Did we ever? Wonder why? Maybe she's pregnant too. Who's oh. pregnant? Why no is everybody pregnant. pregnant? No one's pregnant. Uh, Brie Bella, I'm going, are you pregnant? Bella? I'm still signing on my. Pregnant? I'm still signing my assumption that they're going to do Paige and Naomi at a special event slash pay per view. That will happen. So they're just going to wait it out before. I think it would have touch. to be. Yeah, let's let's yeah. hold on that one. That'll be great though. Backstage, Byron Saxton with Gold Dust, and he yeah. said he's met his new partner, and he's super galactic. Then after the commercial break, we move to Axel in the ring. Uh, man, we were trying to guess. I was like, is it going to be Hornswoggle, as many dust? Um, is it going to be... Tyson yeah. Kidd repackaged? Tyson, yeah. So, yeah. Like, I did not know what to expect, but this was a good uh, and I surprise. Said, well, maybe they'll, they'll have D- uh, Cody in a mask, I think. Uh, I'm, well, uh, or you were something. close. I was close. And then I'm like, well, they mentioned Superstar. Could they just go Stardust? And lo and behold... Stardust, Stardust. is upon us. And he was... Fantastic. Yeah. Even a different move set. That's an understatement. Yeah. yeah, like his moves in the ring were just so cool, and well, he, he was loving it. Like his facial expressions. Oh, he looked yeah. like um, Gold Dust crossed with Paul Stanley from Kiss. Don't forget. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Don't forget Jim Carrey uh, mask. Yeah, uh, very much so. And it was it was subtle changes to his move set too, because he usually does that springboard mm-hmm. drop kick. 
Yeah. And he did a springboard just elbow to the mm-hmm. dome. Mm-hmm. I loved his music, though, and I also loved his reveal when he came out. And we were kind of like, it looks like Cody, but we he's can't walking tell it's backwards. Cody. We can't tell it's Cody. And then he, like, turns around. And then they look like a legit tag team now. They like, do. the finisher, it's everything. Lovely. Just when they were at the end, once they won on the hard cam, like, it just it, it, looks fits, so it revitalizes them yes. together. I'm excited to potentially mm-hmm. see them have another title run in the future. Mm-hmm. Like they could have an entire, so you're right. good overall. Yeah. They yeah. could have an entire new um, tag excited. run. Love it. What, they what is it. their name? I don't know. I, yeah, I want to see a, a combo or something. What is their name? The Dusty Duo. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. No, that's bad. <laughs> I see. Killing it. No. The Dusties. The Dusties. The Gold and um. the Star. Gold Star? Let's revisit uh, this. <laughs> yeah. The uh, star. Next They're going to be representing <laughs> Chile. Yeah. Um, I, uh, hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know. But I, I dig it. Yeah. I, really, I thought it was... The, Cody is... They're both great. Like, yeah. e- even Gold Dust backstage, he's always fantastic. But Cody really embraced the gimmick. And I think together... Because we always liked him as a team, but they were both so yeah. different. Mm-hmm. It's amazing to see cool guy dashing Cody embrace... The the wackiness. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now what and I want to see now. Dusty show me. I got some weird ass kids. Yeah. I, I got some Gold weird dust. ass kids, Daddy. Yeah. Gold dust, stardust, that and was old good. dust. All old dust. dust. <laughs> Oh my God! That would be incredible. That would just be great. Dad showing up, sh- just gyrating like he always does, I mean, in a bodysuit and makeup. You guys, we just wrote the next six months for them. Yeah, love it. He always wore black and yellow. Yeah, he's, really he's just a common man. Yeah. He w- hey, if he can pull off polka dots. Yep. And now uh, he can pull off this. Should he do polka dots on his face? Oh yes. In the yes. Gym. Yes. I see. <laughs> I'm telling Gold you. Gold dots. I... <laughs> End the show! First down, Eric Barnes. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love this team. Gold dots. Love this team. Yeah. Gold dots. I, I was worried it was going to be like some weird one-off gimmick, Gold dots. but this was what we could have asked for. Yeah. That was great. That was fun. That was great. Dug it big time. Moving on, main event. A uh, main event, you know, some people Gold weren't too colors. thrilled for, but uh, this main event, I think, surpassed expectations, maybe. Kane taking on John Cena in a stretcher match. A lot of stretcher weaponry. You know, Cena using it right to the, the lower region and Kane a couple of times. Cena AAs Kane through the announcer's table. Carries Kane all the way on his oh back to the stretcher. Kind of gets him on it. Kane slides off. Of course, Rollins and Orton attack Cena. Ambrose in for the save. Kane chokes lands. Ambrose. Cena throws the steps on Kane. Then uh, they battle all the way up the ramp. Cena gets the AA onto the stretcher for the win. And to the chagrin of many, Cena is now in the money in the bank. Ladder match for the title. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thoughts? I, I think it'll be interesting to have Cena and oh. Oh, okay. Wait, Reigns. For what do you mean? In that, in that oh, because in the they're supposed to be helping each other now. So. Oh, no, 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 no. John Cena helped Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns just accepted it. Yeah. yeah. He didn't he didn't make it out that they were John friends Cena. at all. Yeah, I just wanna see oh! Are you English? Because that's where that started. <laughs> I just um I think it'll be interesting to see if they work together in this or if they end up um trying to l- eliminate each other. I'm sure that the two of them will work together to a point, then and fight then, each yeah. other, and that's when Bray Wyatt <laughs> takes advantage. Mm-hmm. Maybe, I think he's possibly. gonna win. I think Bray Wyatt's... I want him to win. I want him or Cesaro. Cesaro, I don't know. Let's get to that. The seven, and of course we could debate this up until the pay-per-view, but we have uh, Randy Orton, Antonio Cesaro, Cesaro, Alberto Del Rio, Sheamus, Bray Wyatt, Roman Reigns, and now John Cena. Those are the seven. Mm -hmm. And then a question mark. What do you mean? Wasn't nope. there? Oh, no. that was no, the last one. Yeah. Cena, Cena, Cena was, was the question okay. mark. That was the, the question la- mark. Yes. Yeah. So there goes my my wonderful plan of Jericho surprising us all and being in the money in the bank. Well, Eighth entrant. Hey, he could be in this uh, hypothetical suitcase actual, match. Yeah. Yeah. Money in the, the bank. Match. Yeah. I know. But to suitcase, be fair, he's suitcase. never won the briefcase so, in the very brief- match he um, created. I don't know if you heard this, but Jericho is actually going to be in a new Comedy Central show about. I think it's like. Two um, cops or something like that. It just got picked up. Wow. That's yeah. Good. That's awesome. Um, so good for him. That's great. Yeah. 
All don't right. know that he will have time to come back to the WWE right now. He'll since have time to come back and promote a show. Yeah. Yeah, you know he will. Um, yeah. He definitely will. But the Batista it, skin. The, <laughs> it was just released, I think, last week. Um, a little excerpt. It was like two paragraphs long. But the synopsis of the it? show sounds hilarious. I don't remember. I just. Uh, Is that Andy friends. Sandberg? No, no, no. <laughs> Let's. He's the only wrestler then. Why don't you talk yeah. and I will look it up. We'll okay. talk about it. We'll talk. All right, so out of those seven, I, uh, I haven't really thought about... I'm trying to think of what would be best for down the road, because let's not forget we, for we got Daniel Bryan <laughs> um, on our it. hands. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was quick. So Daniel Bryan is still at home recuperating, and I'll be damned if I don't want to see him get another title chase. So the question is, we also have SummerSlam coming up very, very soon. Out of these seven... Who would be the best person to put the title on? I'm saying Del Rio, absolutely not. Nope. No. Sheamus, absolutely not. No. So that leaves five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm saying Cena, absolutely not. I'd rather not, but I can see it. They could. So that leaves Orton Cesaro, Sheamus, I'm sorry, Orton Cesaro, Wyatt, and Reigns. Now, a lot of people be like, oh, Orton, no way. But the thing is, I'm saying that maybe Orton a possibility because he's won it and lost it so many times, it wouldn't be a huge yeah. deal if he loses after two months. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to so, briefly hear the yeah, synopsis for of it. the What's show? Up? Okay, it is called, wait for it, Team Tiger Awesome. Sounds written like by ah! Nick Mundy, Sounds Michael like Truly, and Clint Gage, who will direct the series, follows a loose cannon detective played by Chris Jericho and his by-the-book partner, played by Mundy, who kill time on the endless stakeout by doing one thing that ruins a good detective team sharing feelings with each other and this is actually already picked Sounds up great yeah it got picked up um and it will premiere later this year oh so good for chris jericho yeah yeah right. i think that sounds hilarious it kind of sounds like a um what's that old 70s show that they redid with ben stiller and uh, starsky and hutch yes yeah kind of yeah. sounds like that simon and simon there were a lot of those all right uh what was the 80s one help me tubs mm. uh, crockett tj hooker no well, with T.J. William hooker shatner came. The one with Tubbs and Crockett. Miami Vice. Where That's we're at. Yeah. I think it'll be hilarious, though. I, uh, I'll i watch. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'll and watch we'll because it's out. him. Absolutely. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, all right, who Down do you girl. think? Who's who's best to put the belt on? Um, Chat roll? It, I think it'll You're up. Tell think, us who's best. Yeah, let stop let talking know. about Glacier, for God's uh, sake. Glacier! <laughs> glacier! <laughs> so, uh, for, for me, it depends on if they're going to go with the plan of having Brock Lesnar be the challenger at SummerSlam, which I think is still on the table. Uh, and if they want to put uh, the belt back on Brian when he comes back. I would say Bray Wyatt, just because... If he comes back, has like a two-month reign, and then Brian shows up and takes the belt from him, that because there was still kind of a unresolved issue because Brian lost that feud yeah, at the Royal Rumble, that's true, yeah. and uh, and if they wanted to do Brian versus Brock, that'd be a way yeah. to kind of marry it again. I mean, speaking of Brock, but, initially there was know. that plan of uh, Cesaro winning the briefcase, yeah. Brock winning the title, Cesaro cashing in, but now that's null and void. Yeah. So continue. I don't know. Uh, I would like to see Cesaro, but I don't think that they've booked him to be ready yet. Same with Reigns. Uh, so yeah, you're they're right. like I not. Think chat roll has said there. Um, Fund in chat roll says he wants Wyatt. Yep. HWView says he wants Cesaro. Green Thunder twenty three says he wants Orton. AJ zero three one four says Wyatt. So it's kind of across the board. So we're on agreement that Del Rio, Sheamus, and Cena. No one's saying that. <laughs> so, well, no one wants it. Yeah. Uh, I I don't see I don't see why because none of, none of them if, aside from Cena no, has Cena, to be Cena winners. does not need the title he no. stays relevant he could stay relevant in any yeah. other storyline mm -hmm. um, I would love for Reigns no, that'd be cool uh, too but early. it's like it oh, builds him yeah. up though yeah. like too it, early belts aren't for building up he, or at least they shouldn't Reigns has a lot more cool stuff to do before like he Paige didn't head. get it too early oh yeah don't get me started <laughs> oh we love yeah. Paige and I love her she's doing so well mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. she has one of my favorite girl songs in. You know, it is a good song. Music. It yeah. is Great. a good girl song. So many it's guys. A good song in general. I mean, <laughs> she's hot, but like I have not heard that many guys. Like I get tweets all day long, and they're just like, "Pay, I have a crush on Paige. I never thought I'd like a gothic girl, but she is fine." People say that. Yeah. Variety is the spice of life. <laughs> not my thing. She's twenty-one. She's too young. Uh, she's too young, but I believe she is an <laughs> attractive. Guys are woman. so respectable. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I kind of agree with Green Thunder. I mean, if, if Orton does come out as champion, that would put another feather in Triple H's cap. They could try to do the authority thing, and you know, I've never well, done that. I know, I know. Well, 
But I'm just saying, I, I don't think yeah. I think yeah. Reigns has a lot more in in the tank before he need before yeah. the title. Reigns Bray. needs to win the belt at WrestleMania 31. I feel Fair, I like they, they believe in him so much, though. Like, that company, I feel like they know he is the next generation. All the guys from the okay. Shield are the next generation, and I feel like they would want to capitalize on that when given the opportunity, and this is the opportunity. But... Mm. This, this leads me to what if Cesaro wins and then Brock Lesnar challenges Heyman guy versus Heyman guy at SummerSlam. Mm. Mm. I personally would like to see that. I don't know if it would draw. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, see, That's I'm true. not like damn, I can't wait to see Cesaro and Brock Lesnar. Oh my god, like that's not mm -mm. I'm not that I can't. If that, if that happens, no. that won't be the main event. The main event mm -hmm. will be John Cena versus I don't know who. who in, so in a special you'd rather team see match. Bray Wyatt, Daniel Bryan. I, think. I would rather that would see be Bray amazing. Wyatt, Daniel Bryan. Yeah. I'm just worried. I don't yeah. know if SummerSlam's two months away. I, I don't if he's know ready. if he's ready. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to be ready for a main event. Who's to know? And Bray's pregnant, so let's just. <laughs> well. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know that. I Everybody's pregnant. She's not pregnant. I'm pregnant. She's pregnant. Well, I'm, preg I'm not pregnant. <laughs> that's what we'll all be debating for the next week <laughs> and a half. Oh, by the way, uh, after both listeners, I saw former uh, show member Ryan Clum this weekend. Aww. He came out to my show in Scottsdale, one of my shows. He came oh. out, brought a few friends. It was good to see him. Looking I had a good. long phone combo with Ryan Cat. There you go. <laughs> We're staying in contact. We're staying yep. friends. Uh, Clum's doing great, wrestling in Arizona and all over the place. And we down got there, a really so. long email from Josh recently too, Paget. He's he's good. So he's, he's in he's Miami. Doing well as, yeah. He's in Miami. I don't yeah. believe he's coming back anytime soon, but he's down there. And Dale is coming back next week. Yes, Dale will be back <laughs> next week. He's on the East Coast uh, doing a bunch of stuff. I'm not quite sure what he's doing, but he's doing something. Or maybe he he's in to, Florida. Uh, I think he went to see Harry Potter Land in Orlando, and wow. I'm so jealous wow. because I want to go to that more than anything. He took me to. You e are such a dork. I love it. Speaking of dork, oh we went to E3 last week. I haven't played a video me, game in so many years. I want to go. Anyway, it was I, amazing. I couldn't handle it. It was too much for me. What? I haven't played a video game in so long. I, I couldn't oh believe God. how. Yeah, it was Call intense. Call of Duty is my favorite. No. I wanted Damn to play girl. Ultra Street Fighter 4. I, did, I did play that. Oh. You're like every dude's dream girl. Like, oh, hold on one second. First off. <laughs> She's sitting here talking about wrestling and saying You're Call of Duty is my girl. Why do you look in the mirror? Yeah. yeah. Shh. No, we're talking about I you see like over hockey, here. You like yeah, you wrestling? host a sports thing and Dang. you talk a wrestling. <laughs> Dang. Are you kidding me? Dang. Don't even oh, start. Oh God. What do they make? What factory do they make you to? She plays Call of Duty. Like. Yeah, well. Damn. Look, you don't gotta sell us on Kathy. We know. Yeah. She's freaking cool. I know. Let's be best friends. <laughs> can we? Can we? Do we become yes. best friends? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do. All right, show's over. Kathy, put yourself over. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Katherine Kelly, and you can find me here doing a bunch of different shows. I have a couple episodes of Chatting with Kathy coming up. One will be on Thursday, and another one next week. So check those out. Carlin Bathe. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to me rant and be giggly. You can also follow me on Twitter at Carlin Bathe. You can follow our mascot and see all of his crazy antics between CM Punk and soon-to-be Dolph Ziggler at Bailey LA Kings. It's a real lion. It's a real lion. He tweets do it, dude. All right. Eric Barnes. Yes, you can follow me on Twitter at that Eric Barnes. You can also hear me do contributions on the WrestleFolks Network this week. I do one with another fellow after buzzer, Nat Baymel, talking Boom. Great American Bash. Thank you so much. And yeah, I do stand up and all that stuff, so you can follow that on Twitter at that Eric Barnes. All right. Of course, guys, at Wrestling Buds, me and Dale Rutledge having the show for the Nerdist Network. And next week, I won't be here. I'm going to be on the East Coast. I have shows in New York City. So if you're in New York City, hit me up on social media. I'll tell you where they are. Let's party. Uh, we'll see you next week. I'll see you in two weeks. Thanks for watching, guys. We love you. Thanks for listening. See ya. But from executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later. <laughs>